Hi Scorpio, my name is Leona from Superconscious Soul and this is your general reading. So I've already pulled some oracle cards to save some time. Let's have a look at the main energy. So Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising, we have the Three of Swords in reverse. We have a justice in reverse. Oh, Scorpio. But we have the five of wands. So that's releasing some of those obstacles. We have the queen of pentacles as the issue. We have the magician in reverse as you now. We have the six of pentacles as your distraction. We have the world card helping you. We have your card of death going forward. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. Underneath the deck, we have the Hanged Man, but he is in the upright. This is saying that you've seen something from another person's perspective, yeah? You've looked at it, it you've put yourself in their shoes and you've changed your perspective. Something that you used to look at in a certain way, you've changed the way you, that you look at that now. You're in more of an enlightened state, yeah? You've made some sacrifices of your own. You've realised maybe something that you were standing for maybe wasn't really what it was. Or you've kind of backed down in some way, but there's been enlightenment from it. It's not been an ego dent. It has been something that you've learned and you've grown from. Now, underneath that, we have the Three of Pentacles. You're now wanting to work together with somebody here. However, you may be kind of hung up here in the sense that you are hanging around with nothing to do. It's like maybe, I don't know, is there, there may be some kind of blockage in communication because we do have the magician reversed in the center of the reading as you now so maybe there is some blockage in communication or maybe there's been some past deception maybe you're not sure if this person would like to work with you again this can denote three people working together it can talk about a company perhaps it can talk about um a person or working with somebody here now you can also talk about slave to love so it can say that you're wanting to re-establish a connection with somebody. Now you want them to realise that you can see it from their point of view. Or you see what they were saying. Underneath the deck we have the Three of Swords. So you're healing from a situation. You're healing from something that was said, something that was done. Yeah, Justice may have not been in your favour. Or maybe something that you said brought about a termination or an ending to a relationship or something that was done brought about an ending to the relationship you have gone through a healing so I feel like either you're forgiving them for something that's happened or they're wanting to come back for your forgiveness in this situation yeah because I feel like there was something very karmic that happened this can talk about a very karmic connection in terms of a relationship as well it can talk about um a truth that comes out that hurts or brings about some kind of injustice, yeah? We have the Five of Wands here where it's like we're just releasing all of these blockages. We're getting past these obstacles, yeah? We're, we're learning how to build something together, yeah? I'm going to clarify that Three of Swords and the Justice card moving forward as well as the Five of Wands in reverse, please, Spirit. Please clarify. So, the Three of Swords, we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah. Some information could add burdens to somebody. It could be... Um, it could have caused some confusion in opinions. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse as well. And then we have the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. So, somebody's trying to release somebody's anxiety here, but they don't want to let somebody go. Somebody doesn't want to let somebody go. They're being let go, so they don't want to let go. They may try and find a way to hold on here, yeah? But hopefully, 
if you've healed, you're not going to try and hold on to energy that doesn't want to be held on to. So what I mean by that is there could be some kind of communication or some kind of truth that comes out that causes a negative reaction, yeah? Now, I don't feel like that's going to make the person want to work with you in any sense of the word, yeah? You may be holding on out of fear, out of an anxiety, paranoia, yeah? Um, like I said, there may have been some problems with communication with the magician in reverse, so let's have a look at that. We've got the hermit. We've got somebody in solitude, yeah? Somebody in deep reflection, somebody going inside their self. This is a lesson as well here. The Mercury, Mercury is the magician, possibly Gemini, but it's talking about somebody um, maybe not being able to manipulate a situation because somebody's in solitude or not being able to communicate about a situation very much in a reclusive energy perhaps or somebody's in reclusive energy there's no communication the queen of pentacles we have the queen of wands yeah now there could be two females in this reading or it talks about a meeting perhaps yeah a meeting wanting to manifest a meeting perhaps between these two queens or somebody with these energies this is somebody who's very independent here with the queen of wands and then we have somebody who's very nurturing very stable very grounded this is somebody who's passionate this could be a mother and a businesswoman or a father and a businessman at the same time they have this nurturing energy masculine or feminine Oops, a daisy, we've got too many there. I'm going to put those back because they didn't turn. So, let's see what's distracting you. This could be somebody giving their energy to two people. This could be money or needing to give money back to somebody, needing to repay somebody. We have the Six of Swords in reverse here. So somebody's trying to stay stagnant. They want a reciprocal energy, there, but they're not moving away. Let's take another card for that. We've got the Temperance card. Wait, needing to wait for divine timing. Somebody's wanting to invest, but they're needing to wait for timing. There's a period where they're being pulled back. They're being, it's like something can't be completed yet. There's this wait for this completion. Something's needing to fall into place perhaps, or it's something to do with time. Because the Six of Pentacles talks about here and now. So they could be stuck in the here and now from moving out of a situation. There is some divine timing element with this. We've got the moon card and the devil in reverse. Some kind of secrets come out. Somebody's releasing something that's toxic here. They're trying to get away from something that's toxic. Some kind of secret comes out here. But I do also feel like somebody's trying to hold on to somebody's energy. It may be quite manipulative with the magician in reverse. So be careful this month. We have the lovers needing to make a decision. Somebody's needing to find balance between their masculine and feminine before they can move forward. They're at a crossroads in life. Yeah. Let's talk about the devil. I mean, the death card. We've got the three of swords again. This is some kind of ending, some kind of heartbreak. Maybe somebody's changed. There's been a transformation. Whoops, we've got the page of Flamingo. 
somebody spying on somebody and they're not happy. Somebody may be spying on somebody here. They're looking at this energy, but while they're looking at this energy, it's like somebody doesn't want somebody to have those cups or that lifestyle, if you know what I mean. Or somebody is living through somebody else's life rather than living through their own Ten of Cups here. Ooh. Let's have the page of flamingos. If We've got the page of pepper mills. So this is a turning point in terms of how they're thinking. They may have to restart something. There may be having to be a new beginning that's sought after here. After possibly a painful ending. We have the Ace of Cups with the Page of Hats. And then the Ace of Pentacles. This is a massive turnaround, I would say, at the end. Because the Page of Cups is somebody making an offer here with the ace of pentacles they're wanting something stable they're wanting to have this stability they're wanting to have abundance in all forms financially and emotionally but there's a massive transformation maybe the there's somebody has to get hurt in the process like this third party has to be told the truth. Or somebody doesn't communicate and then the news comes out. Yeah? Something is revealed. We got the Queen of Oysters, which is the Queen of Pentacles here. We've had the Queen of Pentacles twice, so it could be that something is revealed about the Queen of Pentacles. Taurus Capricorn Virgo. We've got the Nine of Cups, or the Queen of Pentacles is holding on to some kind of information. One more card. The Empress in Reverse. Maybe somebody wants a new start with this Queen of Pentacles here. They want to make an offer emotionally to the Queen of Pentacles. Maybe they think that the Queen of Pentacles will reject them. Something comes out that causes a massive ending. And then from there, there's a decision that's needing to be made. Under the deck, we've got the Hierophant. This can be about commitment. It could also be about massive organisation, some connection to some kind of controlling organisation. Yeah. Possibly religious, but not necessarily. Something to do with not wanting a mother to move forward, not wanting a female to move forward here with the Empress. We have the Angel of Strength, which is calling you to have confidence and strength. And it brings on healing with this energy, with the Angel of Strength. We're calling on breathe. It says the breath is a vital bridge between your body and soul. It is the connection between the inside and the outside, connecting you to the universe, spirit and the divine source. The breath permeates your entire being with prana, which is the same life-giving force that nourishes everything in the universe. Somebody kind of sees how toxic something is and leaves it behind. Or somebody was being controlled by something or they didn't know some information but now they know the information and they move away this information may have been brought to the surface here with the nine of cups somebody is making a wish Maybe their wish is to move towards this Queen of Pentacles. But I feel like there may have been a lot that's gone on in the past. There could have been arguments. 
Maybe somebody was away for a while and then they've returned, but there's been some kind of transformation on the return. We do have here, which is interesting, the garden and the gate, which talks is number 30, and it talks about um, being kept inside this gate or inside this garden through some kind of wealth or some kind of stability perhaps needing to go outside of the gate this month needing to find something very spiritual outside that is not about materialism something higher not just staying in the comfortability of this garden with this gate here venturing out of the gate this month Scorpio we also have the card of love. It says love is the foundation of your existence and you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life. So do things with love this month, Scorpio. There will be blessings in it. I really do know that. Um... Don't stay with somebody for security. If somebody's manipulating you, it's time to get out. If somebody's not giving you the love that you deserve and they're keeping you kind of, maybe something comes out, could be to do with some kind of STD here and then you have this choice that needs to be made or some kind of, revelation about um, an affair or something perhaps there's something that comes out maybe about an addiction some kind of escapism the devil talks about being controlled by materialism not being controlled by money not being controlled by the things that are 3d of this world where to look upwards yeah there's some kind of truth that comes out this month as well. Some kind of truth that comes out with this um, moon that forces some kind of decision moving forward. But ahead of you, you have this offer that's coming in. Maybe support with the Queen of Pentacles because that talks about stability. The Page of Pepper Mills is talking about a free spirit, a young energy that's coming forward. Somebody who's trying something new. We also have Serendipity, which is an excellent card. It is number 18. And it talks about it's almost like with this card, just when you think something's over, two people are brought into a connection. Two people are put in the right place at the right time. There is something happens and it's kind of fated here. The temperance card as well does talk about divine timing, destiny, waiting until something gets to the, the right point where it, there's the right balance. Yeah? And then suddenly something changes. This is talking about abundance that is not only for you, but is enough to be shared. This talks about connecting to some kind of divine thing, some serendipity that comes in. Something very lucky that happens. Something's blown in here. You have the flame of love and peace be yourself this month Scorpio we also have in terms of relationship in terms of the um, love we have religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so there could be some reason why you're not able to get together it could come out and then there's a decision that needs to be made there. Maybe then you have to face the decision of, oh, do we live here or do we? where do we live now that everybody knows? Or there's some kind of secret that comes out. 
You also have past life relationship. You have known each other before. And you also have the card of imitation from the Osho Zen, which is talking about somebody who was told that one of his um, followers or initiates was mimicking, not mimicking, but imitating him. So every time he spoke, he would point his finger in the same way that he'd seen his master do it and in the same um form like a form of flattery but he'd found that he was doing it unconsciously so when the master went and found him he chopped off his finger and the man and, and then the man ran off screaming he's like stop so the man came back and he's like why and he's like because and then he said something and the the man went to raise his finger and realized it had been chopped off and in that moment he realized what had happened and he got down on bended knees and he prayed to him. But it's saying that it's about being your truthful self this month, Scorpio. Being true to yourself in order to make this next trans transformation. Yeah. Maybe needing to be truth or to say tell somebody the truth, to have some truth told to you this month. Yeah. Because this card talks about truth. It talks about, and so does the silver siren. This talks about needing to be careful of a false light. You may have a false light coming towards you this month. Something that maybe is not telling you the truth. But then you also have this beautiful blessing that comes in with the serendipity card. So you're needing to be a little bit cautious. Maybe you're needing to probe a little bit this month to get to the truth, yeah? And maybe you uh, allowing, maybe when you get to that truth, maybe they, they accept it in a way that you didn't expect. Yeah, maybe they can see it from your point of view, yeah? Maybe they can put themselves in your shoes. Because we do have the Hierophant and the Seven of Swords in reverse. So it could be learning a lesson about deception this month. Or some kind of false light that claims to be something that it's really not. Needing to look deeper this month, Scorpio. So I really do hope this has helped. Take care. Stay blessed.